Welcome to Going Retro in the Bosch Cave. I'm your host, Ronnie Bosch, aka Perps. As you can see, we're not actually in the Bosch Cave. As you know, I do not have a Bosch Cave for the foreseeable future. That doesn't mean that my collecting has to stop. As you've seen on Bosch's World, I've been kind of just showing off my purchases while standing in my storage unit. Most recently, I did it from in here. So I'm going to continue unboxing them here, but one of my favorite things to unbox has been the Hasbro style figures, the retros, and I want to keep that tradition going. I've got so many coming in. That's the, my favorite thing to collect. A lot of these I've pre-ordered over a year ago. I think it's time we got to opening some of those before I put them in little Ziploc bags and put them in storage. I want to at least experience the fun of opening those up, even if that's the only thing I do right now. So here we go with volume three of Going Retro. <laughs> There's definitely no shortage of figures this this time around. So let's get things started with Hastel Toys, Grapplers, and Gimmicks. Now, last month in my storage unit, I opened up these Men on a Mission, Mo and Mabel, or Bobby Horn, Nelson Frazier, and those arrived loose. Here's Men on a Mission, Mabel and Mo. Now, like I've said before, I think Hastel is doing a great job at signing the talents that I would like before the Jax BCA came out. I would fantasy book these lines and I would say like, hey, why don't we have so-and-so? Like, I wish we had all of these guys in these figure forms and, and he's getting them done. So these actually arrived this morning. Luckily, I was able to grab it and get these done. So here we go. So first, let's start with Savio Vega. So here's Savio Vega. He also started in WWE around the time that I became a fan and I always wanted to Savio Vega Hasbro style figure when he was there uh, teaming with Razor Ramon. So here it is, Savio Vega, Theo Savio. Got the Savio on the back. So here's one of my favorite tag teams of the new gen era, the Godwins. I had the opportunity to meet the Godwins a couple years back at the big event. Henry comes with the bucket. Phineas comes with a pig, so let's open these up. It comes with the fist, so I can't really put the bucket in either of his hands. And here's Phineas with a little pig. Okay, so that is the Grapplers and Gimmicks Hastel toy portion of this unboxing. Now let's move on to some Chella. I don't, I don't even know the name of them anymore. <laughs> so here we have the Wrestling Megastars, Chella, Epic. So here's Chelsea Green, I did I did show these off in the storage unit, but I'd rather do this again here. I'm going to keep this one mint on card just because I'm doing that with everybody from the Major Pod family to get signed. Let's start with the Blue World Order, the BWO, Blue Meanie, Hollywood Nova, and Big Stevie Cool Stevie Richards. So there is Blue Nova. We're taking over. You got the Blue Meanie here, who was one of the first figures they released, and I missed out on that one, the one that came with Josh Chernoff. I was happy when they announced the release of the entire BWO, so now I can get all of them and add them to my unexpected ECW Hasbro collection. So here it is, the Blue Meanie. Dun, 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 dun. Last but not least, Big Stevie Cool, Stevie Richards. Even though it kind of looks like current day Stevie Richards more than BWO Stevie Richards from the 90s. And here we have King Haku, the toughest man in the history of the wrestling industry. I actually met him a couple years ago and I told him to put me in the tongue and death grip. And despite the fact that he wasn't even doing it that hard, it still hurt like hell. And Cheyenne took forever to take the fucking photo. And I'm looking at him like, can you please hurry up? This is, this is not that comfortable. <laughs> here it is, King Haku. So here we go, the WWE Retro line. This is Series 4. I do love that they always come in this nice box. I usually use this box for uh, storage. So here we go. Now these come with the removable cases. I don't know if I'm going to keep these. Just I'm, I'm going to keep these loose anyway, so I, I can just get rid of these covers. So here is The Undertaker with the Phantom Mask. Always an awesome look of takers. I'll put him here with BSK. Jerry the King Lawler. I'm surprised he didn't get one during the original run of Hasbro's legendary announced team. 
And let's put him here next to the royalty. Let's put him here next to King Haku. Here we have Paul Bearer, who also should have gotten a Hasbro decades ago. But at the time, they weren't making non-wrestlers like managers or announcers. So there we go. Oh, yes! And of course, he'll go here next to The Undertaker. And it's time! It's time! It's Vader time! Such an awesome figure, Vader. Glad he's finally being represented in Hasbro. So I had to make room here for Heels and Faces, Zombie Collector. I got five new figures, Series 2 and the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. So here it is, Series 2. I did not get Brody, but I'm hoping to maybe find one on eBay at a decent price or in the, in the group. Hands down, the best line of Hasbro figures. Let's start with somebody who already had a Hasbro in Series 1, Andre the Giant, the legend, one and only. So here we go, Andre the Giant. There's actually one coming out for Black Friday with the black straps. Next we have the devil himself, the Taskmaster. Now, although this is a version of Sullivan I'm not too familiar with, I'm just... I'm a big Kevin Sullivan fan, Dungeon & Doom fan. I do wish it was Dungeon & Doom Kevin Sullivan from the mid-90s with the yellow robe from the Dungeon of Doom. I just think that would have been awesome, but this one will do for now. Hopefully, Zombie can make another one. Oh, wow, it's got like the little chain attached in the back. I'll keep that on there for now just so it doesn't get ruined before putting it in storage. But here is Kevin Sullivan. Next, we have King Kong Bundy who definitely should have been in the Hasbro line back in the 90s. Big star in the 80s, headline WrestleMania 2, was around for WrestleMania 11, facing The Undertaker. Here it is, King Kong Bundy with the five hand. And here we got the last one from Series 2, Raven. It was actually supposed to arrive later, but Zombie came through and sent them all at once. Such a sick fucking figure. This may be the centerpiece of my ECW version of the line which I may display separately from WWF guys. Definitely takes up the most room with the arms extended, but I think that's what makes this figure so awesome with soft goods, leather jacket and flannel shirt. And last but not least, San Diego Comic-Con exclusive, Bastion Booger, another figure that was supposed to be released in that orange card line. So here it is. Mike Shaw, Mike Booger Shaw. 18 new retro figures, 19 if you count Chelsea. I can't wait for Zombie to release Series 3. There's Cardona and Nick Gage 2-pack from Homecoming, the show that I was at. I, I definitely need that set to display with the piece of the shirt. But here we go. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and I hope to be back soon with Volume 4 of Going Retro in the Bosch Cave, but not really in the Bosch Cave. I'll be, I'll be done in a few minutes. Oh.